Hi friends, welcome to my channel Lotus Geek. Today we're gonna fix an issue while playing Fortnite game. You got an error. A D3 D11 compatible GPU is required to run the engine. So let's go ahead and proceed. The very first method is to install DirectX as well as Microsoft Visual C++. I'll provide the download link in the description below. Download this DirectX in your system. Once downloaded, again open Microsoft Visual website and click on this 64 bit download link and save it in your desktop. Once both the files are saved, go ahead and install one by one. Accept terms and conditions and install them in your system. The file size is of 90 MB. It won't take more than a minute to download the file depending upon the speed of your system. Once the direct X installation is finished, do the same with Microsoft Visual C++. It is saying uninstall or repair because I have already installed Microsoft Visual C++. You can see over here also. These are Microsoft Visual C++ that I have already installed. Now once you install both the software, restart your system and again try to check if the problem is resolved or not. If this doesn't work out, we are going to proceed to the second step. In second step, we are going to increase the virtual RAM. Right click on this PC and choose the option properties. Click on the advanced settings. Under the advanced tab, click on the settings and again choose the advanced tab. From here virtual memory, click on the change button and here uncheck automatically manage paging size. From here click on custom size and choose initial size to be 0 and maximum size is equal to 4 times your RAM. For example, if I have 8 GB of RAM, so it would be around 8000 MB. So 8000 MB into 4 is equal to 32,000. So here maximum size would be 32,000. Now hit the OK button. Now go ahead and restart your system. If this method also doesn't work out, we are going to proceed to the third step. In third step, click on the start menu and type DXDIAG and hit the enter button. Now choose the display tab. In display, find the name and manufacturer of your display driver or graphic driver. For example, at my end, the name is Intel HD Graphics 5500. Open Google Chrome and type here Intel HD Graphics 5500 driver and hit the enter button. Open the official link which is the very first link. Scroll down and click on the download button to download the file or download the graphic driver onto your system. Save it in your desktop. The file size is of around 200 MB for Intel. As it is, for AMD drivers, I'll directly provide the website link. You can scroll down, choose the graphic option and from here choose your chipset and then click on the submit button to download your graphic driver. You can download it by clicking over here. As well as for NVIDIA, this is the website for NVIDIA driver. Choose product type, series, each and everything. Then click on the search button to get your graphic driver and then click on the download button to download a driver. This is the driver, Intel driver that we have just downloaded. Go ahead and install this driver into your system. Once the driver is installed, your problem must be fully resolved. If after doing all these three waves, your problem is not yet resolved, the only reason behind the problem is that your graphic card is pretty old that's why it is not allowing you to play that particular game. If you face any kind of issue while performing these actions, kindly comment below and I'll provide you support for every problem.
that's it about it friends if you like this tutorial i request you to please click on the subscribe button to continue watching more such tech and how to videos thank you friends thank you for watching